Hello, YouTube. I have a lot of viewers want to know in depth about this uh, Samsung Galaxy Express Prime. So today I'm going to go over like uh, full detail about this phone. So it's going to be a lengthy video. If you did not re uh, watch my unboxing, you can uh, check out my unboxing video on the link showing on below. So this is the Samsung uh, Galaxy uh, uh, Express Prime. I'm going to open the battery door. This is a battery door which is uh, plax uh, plastic, plastic which is very flexible and unbreakable. Just like the previous uh, version of uh, Galaxy uh, Note 2, Note 3, Note 4, and then the first Note, and then the previous uh, Samsung uh, S, uh, S5 series, S4, S3, S2, S1. This one has a 2600 mAh uh, battery. And the uh, front uh, camera is 2 uh, megapixel. And then the rear uh, camera is uh, 5 megapixel. The internal memory is 16 uh, gigabyte of internal memory. And then you can expand it up to uh, 128 gigabyte. This is a uh, 5.0 inch HD. AMOLED display compared to the Express 3 that one is only a 4.5 inch and the Express 3 that one is not a HD So uh, it come with the AT&T previous uh, preloaded uh, application, the apps, and then it uh, come with the Google handout photo. Uh, once you set up the phone, the Google photo is is awesome. You could uh, back up all your uh, pictures onto the Google Cloud. So if you put on the like, uh, high quality, you could get a free uh, unlimited uh, storage space. But if you put on the original one, they only uh, allow you to have uh, up to 14 gigabyte of storage. Or, yeah. And then uh, it also comes with the Samsung uh, preloaded app. I like the Samsung Milk Music. It's pretty cool. It has a different variety of uh, music that you could play with. Uh, I'm not going to play the music because uh, due to the copyright, but I'm just going to give you some uh, selection. Samsung Milk Music. Uh, you got the yes, pop. Hip hop, hip hop, rock, country, R and B, and then uh, alternative music. It also has a uh, electronic and has a sports radio, live radio, and then uh, dance uh, music. 
and also has spotlight and then you could also uh, create your own station and it has a uh, Amazon app that you could purchase uh, through your Samsung phone It also come with Kindle, so you can read all your novels and books and comics, and purchase your books on here. Uh, it also come with preloaded AT and T uh, family map. I don't use that, so it's a calculator. So when you flip down like a landscape uh, way, it will give you an extra function over here, like sine, cosine. And then uh, there's a calendar. If you want to make a calendar or add to a task, you can press the plus sign. Then you can set appointment and set the time and then set the alarm, how many minutes before the notifications. So you add uh, on time, 10 minutes before your appointment, 30 minutes, one hour before, or one day before, or you could customize it. So right now we're going to go to the camera, go through uh, certain functions. So I'm going to take a picture of this uh, vinyl character, which is uh, Mickey Mouse. So I add a function about the up after you take the picture, you can preview, uh, review the picture over here. You can turn on and off. The video size for the rear, you can change to uh, HD, which is uh, 1280 by 720 or VGA mode. Let me get back to there which is uh, 640 by 480 or you could use a QVGA which is 320 by 240 so I'm going to keep it on HD autofocus you can select autofocus or macro and then the grid line you can turn on and off so if I turn uh, on the grid line this is how the camera will look like So it comes with a grid line. I'm not sure if you can see it. But... And then there's a location tag you can turn on and off. And then quick launch, storage location. I don't have the SD card in there, so. Once you have an SD card, you can either store it on the phone, the device itself, or store it into a SIM, uh, the memory card. So the volume key, you can either take picture or record video or zoom, and then the shutter sound you can turn on and off. And over here, you can set the rear uh, view camera you set it to 5 megapixel which is 2576 by 1932 4 to 3 ratio or you can set it to 3.7 megapixel 1 to 1 ratio which is 920 by 920 or you can set 3.7 16 by 9 ratio 2560 by 1440 or the 3.14 by 
to 3 ratio, 20, uh, 48 by 15, 36, or 2.4, 16 by 9 ratio, 20, 48 by 11, 52. Uh, the preset is at uh, 3.7 megapixel. And then uh, there's a flash. Right now it's turning off. You press again. On, it's, now it's auto. Press again. It's on. And there's a timer right here for the pictures. So you can set it up. Right now it's off. You can set it to 2 second timer, 5 second timer, or 10 second uh, timer. There's an e effect right here. You change to a negative, serpia, grayscale, or no effect at all. Let's see what's the other function. That's it. And there's a mode. There's a preset mode right here. Right now it's on auto. You can go to pro. Let's see what's on pro. So the pro, you can set the, the, the lighting, plus or minus, darker or brighter, set it to zero. And then you can set the ISO. Uh, ISO, you can set it up to, let's see, up to 400. It's auto, 100, 200, or 400. I'm going to put it back to automatic. And then there's a white balance over here. Whoa, change the blue. Let's stay on auto. And then there's a panorama. And then there's a continuous shots. I'm not sure how many shots <coughs> it's going to shoot, but. It says uh, press and hold. Wow. When I press that, I take up uh, 20 shots already, so I will have a lot of pictures. It says 26 over here. So you see it? There's a. Wow, it's pretty good. Pretty fast, actually. Snap those pictures. And it's a beautiful face. Sound and shoot. Background sound will be recorded for up to 9 seconds after you tap the camera button or record button. And then there's a sports, sports mode. So I'm going to turn it back to automatic mode. So this is a picture that I took earlier. The quality is pretty nice. Let me record a video clip and see. Focus, you tap here for focus first. You record. Now it's recording video. You zoom in. You can zoom in up to uh, four times. And we tap it, you can focus. So let's do the playback.
Before I forget, let me put back the battery door before I drop the battery and then we lose uh, the screen. Anyway, there's a SD slot right here for the memory card. So this one, uh, you can store up to 128 gigabyte. And then the SIM card is down here. SIM card is kind of hard to remove. You will need like a try to use like a pencil with the eraser eraser on, on the tip so I can get it out. So it's pretty good design. I like this phone very much. Although it's not uh, metal, it's made out of uh, plastic. I don't mind because uh, it's pretty light. And this is a budget phone. So it doesn't matter. If you lose it, drop it. Compared to the purchase, if you purchase your uh, Samsung S6 or S7, it costs around like uh, six or seven hundred dollars. And if you drop it, lose it, or you know, I would suggest you to uh, replace this phone with that one because the quality is pretty nice actually, and. This one has a uh, 1.5 gigabyte of RAM, so it's not going to be as smooth as uh, S7 uh, or S6, but it will get you through the rest of the contract or if you're stuck with the contract or if you don't want to pay a uh, monthly contract uh, anymore. So I did a previous test on the N22 benchmark. Let me go see if I can pull it out. It's right here. Oh, man. I'm gonna run the test again. The only thing that is uh, different from my Note 3 is that the, the bottom button over here, it does not light up. The back button and then the multitask button right here. That's the only thing that's the different from my Note 3. So it has Google Chrome, it has a clock. You can set the alarm. You can press add, set the timer, zoom, snooze, and then the volume, and then the alarm uh, name, however you want to name it. There's a world clock. You can add. You can add different country like Japan. Tokyo, Japan, or Osaka. Okay, click on it if you add it. It tells you what time it is in Japan right now. And then there's a stopwatch. Do the countdown. You can press lab. Lab, lab. So you give all those uh, time, time. You press stop, you reset, and then there's a timer. You can set, let me see, five seconds, and then press start. So 
The runner is vibrating because I said hung. Reloaded Direct TV app, email, Galaxy app. That's like a <clears throat> their own store. Like you purchase anything that you want. And then the gallery. And preload a game or internet lockout. I would suggest you to uh, get an account for the lockout. I mean, the lookout. This one uh, is pretty good. If you have a uh, spamware, that will take remove it or take it out. Then come with the map, memo. You could jot down uh, the title and enter the memo, and then press save. Or you record your voice or draw or image or task. You can select a category or if you want to add which category which category. And then this is a text message and then my AT and T. So you check on your balance or uh, pay your balance online. And then this is the phone. Play Store, Play Store, you know, Google Play Store, you can purchase or install any free software that you want to install. That's it, Angry Bird, you type it in. So those are all the Angry Bird uh, uh, games that you could download, play for free. Angry Bird Rio, Angry Bird 2, Angry Birds uh, Star Wars, Angry Bird Transformer, whole bunch of them. And then there's a plenty car reward. And then you go to setting. Uh, another thing I want to brought out to your attention is that uh, this phone, uh, the Wi-Fi, if you have a third-party Wi-Fi, it, will, it does not support the a AC. Let me show you. Okay. My Note 3, it will support my ASUS 5G which is uh, higher uh, megahertz. But uh, somehow this uh, the Express uh, Prime, it does not pick up my 5G from my third party uh, router. That's the only thing that is, uh, I guess the, the modem that's built in here on this uh, Express Prime does not support AC. You know how the the modem it support uh, G Let's see where is it at yeah right here the uh, Wi-Fi AO 2.11 is support B, G, and N. It does not support AC. As a Uber uh, app install or visual voicemail, YouTube. Go to my channel. Let's go now. Open it up. 
Dann. My video. So you guys, if you guys haven't seen the unboxing, here's the video. So it's your friend's birthday. How do you so find it's the pretty loud. Download the Amazon app Even though the speaker you. is on Just the back. Your mom reading that book your friend's been talking about? Scan the barcode. Buy with one. So this is my unboxing. Yeah, unboxing. I will include it on the bottom of the. This is a Samsung uh, Galaxy Express Prime. Below. Slim, slick design with a vivid display. Prepare to be dazzled by the rich 5.0. And come with a yellow page. Uh, here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the speed test real quick. My kids are using the internet, so that's why it's only 10.78. Normally, it's about 22 uh, megabit per second. The upload speed is pretty fast, actually. Uh, normally, I get around like 1.8, but somehow to the, right now I'm getting 2.21. So if you go to setting, there's a Wi-Fi setting, Bluetooth setting, airplane mode, mobile hotspot and tethering, and then uh, data storage, mobile network, more connection uh, setting. There's also device. Uh, if you go to sound and vibration, I like this phone. This one has a vibration pattern. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but uh, if you go to heartbeat, or well, it's a different vibration mode. Oh, there's one with the TikTok walls, zig zigzag, zig zig zig, and then basic call, and then ringing tone. It's a lot of ringing tones. Yeah, you, you could also uh, customize it by adding from a uh, device storage. If you have like a MP uh, MP3 uh, sound, then you can set it as a ringing tone. So the notification sound. Set a different. Notification sound right now is on whisper. And then the key sound you set it on or off. Dial key back tone. You put it on mute if you want. And then charging sound, screen lock sound, touch sound. And, uh, display, you set the brightness. Cool. And then the outdoor mode, you could click on on and off. Which is uh, make the sound uh, brighter, 
and uh, you can set the font, the icon, background, screen timer, screen mode, and screen saver on and off. Event features. Uh, uh, let's see, application. And wallpaper theme, home screen, lock screen and security, privacy and safety, easy mode, accessibility, account. account. Like it, uh, backup and reset. Almost on the system, let's see. So this, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, thank you for watching the in-depth video. Sorry for the long video. Thank you for watching. And hopefully subscribe, like, comment below, or, and share it. Thank you.